Welcome back to my channel, Saving with Christina. Today, I'm gonna talk about how to shop curbside at Walgreens successfully. A number of you have asked me to create a video on how I shop curbside, as well as provided me with a number of questions that you have about this process. So I will be answering all of those in this video today. But the first thing I wanna talk about just very briefly is why I shop curbside to begin with. One, I just think it's easier. Two, the prices online often are less expensive than the prices in store. But the biggest reason that I switched from shopping in the store to shopping curbside was because I found shopping in the store was kind of frustrating, mostly because my coupons weren't coming off at the register and I didn't wanna mess with that. So when I shop curbside, I can see which coupons are gonna come off before I check out, before I pay for anything. So that's one of the biggest reasons why I like to shop curbside. Another great benefit of the online or curbside shopping process is because you can use coupon codes to save even more money. So before I get into all the technicalities of the questions that you guys have had for me, let me just really quickly show you how to shop curbside and place an order for curbside pickup. So first of all, if you have no idea what that term means, basically you're shopping online, but instead of having that order ship, you're just going to your local store and picking it up. So the first thing you want to do is either get onto the website or get into your app. It doesn't matter which one. And you are going to look for the weekly ad. That's how you know what's on sale for the week. So you'll open the app, you'll click on shop and savings. From that tab, you're gonna see not only the weekly ad, but you're gonna see all of the digital coupons. So if you click on the weekly ad, you'll see what's on sale, but it's also going to tell you which offers are register reward deals. And that's important because register rewards are no longer printed for curbside orders. So if you place a order to pick up in the store, you are not going to get register rewards anymore, okay? And I'm gonna talk about the specifics of that here in just a moment. Now, as you're shopping, you can either type in what you're looking for in the search bar at the top of the screen, or you can scroll down a little bit if you're on the app and shop by category. So you can shop all groceries, you can shop personal care. Then when you click on the product that you want, if you scroll down just a little bit, you're gonna see an option for in-store pickup. Just underneath that, it's gonna tell you what store you're currently shopping at. If that's not the store you wanna pick up your items at, you click on it and then enter your zip code or the zip code of the store that you're wanting to shop at, and it will pull up the stores that are located near that zip code, and then you choose the store you want. So as you're finding items, you will just, um, Make sure it's at the store you wanna pick it up at, and then click the button that says add for pickup. That will put the product in your cart. Once you're ready to check out, you'll click the button that says proceed to check out. On that screen, you're gonna see a couple of important things. You're gonna see the pickup person. So you could change or add a pickup person there. That needs to be the person who's picking up your curbside order. You're also going to see substitution preferences. And we'll talk about this a little bit more later, but that's where you can say, hey, if this item isn't in stock, um, don't substitute it. You could say substitute it with the same brand only or substitute for any brand. And you choose your substitutions for each item individually, not your basket as a whole. Again, I'll talk about that more here in just a moment. Once you've done that, you click proceed to payment. At this point, if you wanna pay with Walgreens Cash, you do have that option. There's a little drop down button that will show you how much Walgreens Cash you can apply to your order. So if you wanna pay that way, you can or you add a different payment method. Now your card is not run, so if you put in a credit card, your card is not run until you actually pick up your items in store. So once you submit your order, you normally get an email that says we received your order, then you're gonna get another email that says your order is ready for pickup. And in that verbiage, it says something like check in. Now I would suggest not checking in 
just going to the store when you get that email that the order is ready. And I'll again, I'll explain that more here in just a moment. So now let me answer some of the most common questions I hear about curbside orders because there's a lot of misinformation out there and I wanna lay it out just as clear as possible for you guys. One question I've gotten a lot lately is, will I get my register rewards with a curbside order? So register rewards are paper coupons that look like this. There are specific deals in the ad each week. So let's say for example, buy three Pantene, you get a $5 register reward. Now, if I buy three Pantene for a curbside order, will I get this register reward? No, never, ever, ever are you going to get register rewards with your curbside orders. You used to, you do not anymore, okay? Now, it's a little confusing because it's Walgreens and Walgreens made their ad and their online system somewhat confusing to understand. So I'm gonna try to explain it as simple as I can explain it. You do not get register rewards with curbside pickups. Can you get Walgreens cash with curbside pickup? Okay, so if I do a deal that's buy two Colgate, get $4 in Walgreens cash, will I get my Walgreens cash with curbside pickup? Yes, every single time, as long as they have the items that you are um, shopping for, you will get the Walgreens cash associated with those deals. The tough part is determining what deals are register reward deals and what deals are actual true Walgreens cash deals. The only way to do this easily is to look at the ad. Now in the ad, if it says receive $5 of in-store rewards, that's the register reward. The in-store rewards verbiage is for register rewards. So if you see a deal that says that, you're not going to get it as a register reward, you're not going to get it as Walgreens cash. Now, if in the ad it says, buy two, get $4 in Walgreens cash, or spend 20, get $10 in Walgreens cash, you will get the Walgreens cash on a curbside order. The problem is it's Walgreens, and they change the wording to where it's confusing for people because if you do ship to home on a register reward deal, they give you Walgreens cash. So in some places online, it will say Walgreens cash when in fact it is an actual register reward deal. So you think it's a Walgreens cash deal, you go and you don't get the Walgreens cash and then you think you never get Walgreens cash on a curbside pickup. Well, that's not true. You just have to read in the actual ad. And remember I showed you how to find that under shop and savings. You're gonna see the weekly ad there. Look for that verbiage, Walgreens cash or in-store rewards. If it says in-store rewards, you know that it's a register reward deal. So if you place it for curbside, you're not gonna get the register reward. If it's a true Walgreens cash deal, like buy two, get $4 in Walgreens cash, or spend 10, get $5 in Walgreens cash, you will get that Walgreens cash for a curbside pickup. So hopefully I made that clear. Now the second question that I've gotten recently, will I get a receipt with my curbside order? So the answer has always been yes, until recently. And now Walgreens has this new thing in place and it was a change to make it easier on their employees. If they use that little handheld device that looks like a phone and they scan the order out on that handheld device, it is not going to generate a receipt. So that's why I say don't check in through the email to say you're on the way to the store because then they're gonna go through that process most likely and not give you a receipt. In order to get a receipt, they have to scan the QR code with the actual product scanner, like the regular scanner that they use at the registers to scan your Kit Kat bar or your water or whatever, they have to use that regular scanner to scan the QR code. If they do it that way, you will get a receipt. So will that work at every store? If your store is willing to do it that method, then yes, you will get a receipt every time if you walk in and say, hey, well, I need to make sure I get a receipt with this order, 
Can you use that scanner to scan the QR code versus your handheld device and you will get a receipt. I tried it out this weekend. When I went in, they had already processed my order. They did not give me a receipt. I was like, oh shoot, I didn't realize y'all were doing that new process. Can we like return it, buy it again, see if it works because I wanted to be able to tell you guys. See if it works if you scan it with that regular scanner. So she was amazing. There was no one in the store. She did it and it printed a receipt. We need those receipts so we can scan them to our cashback apps. So that's how you always get a receipt. The next question I get asked a lot and it comes in two different versions. How do I make sure I get my items with a curbside order or what happens if I'm doing a deal that's like buy two, get this, and then my store only has one of them? Okay, so let me answer that question. You may not like the answer, but it's the answer that works. Okay, the inventory system isn't always accurate, right? Someone may be at the store shopping while you're placing an online order. Their inventory just may be off a little bit. So it may show they have three of something when they really have nothing at the store. Is it frustrating? Yes. One way to get around that is to allow substitutions. So let's say there is a Colgate toothpaste deal, buy two, get $4 in Walgreens cash. When I go through that checkout process, like I told you, when you get to substitutions, say substitute with same brand only, okay? Because if they don't have that specific one, they can substitute it with another one. Now, Will all stores substitute the way you want them to? No, that's just the way it works, okay? Uh, if they substitute, you will never pay more. So if, let's say, I placed an order for Asper Cream, and this happened this past weekend, and I um, order the one ounce, and they're out of the one ounce, but I had allowed for substitution, and they have the three ounce, they can substitute that three ounce, but I'm not gonna be charged any more than what I would have been charged for the one ounce. So that's kind of a cool thing right there. Now, the only way to ensure the store has everything you want and it doesn't mess up any of your deals is to physically go to the store. You can still place a curbside order while standing in the store but that is the only way I know of to tell you how you can make sure that the store has everything you want. And I've done this before. I'll go to the store, I'll scan the product, I throw it in my basket, and I'm slowly doing a curbside order, but I'm shopping and putting it in my basket. I walk up to, at my store it's the photo counter, and I say, hey, I'm about to process this curbside order. These are all the items, okay? I know there's not gonna be substitutions. I know they're not out of products because I just grabbed it all. That is the only way I know to ensure you get every product you want. Now let's say you choose not to do it that way and you're shopping at home in your PJs and you're doing a spend 20, get five with your digital spend booster and one of the items was out of stock. So now instead of your total being $21, it's 1940, right? So you didn't hit the $20, what can you do? You're not gonna get the $5 in Walgreens cash back. It's just not gonna happen. So if that's super important to you, either only use your spend boosters in store or go into the store, grab your items, make sure they have it all, and then check out curbside. Okay, another question about... So those were the big ones. This is another one that I get quite a bit. If I pay with Walgreens cash on an order that awards Walgreens cash, will I still get the Walgreens cash back? The answer is yes and no. Let me tell you the simple one first. Buy deals. When a deal requires you to buy a certain amount of products to get a certain amount of Walgreens cash, you can always pay with Walgreens cash and still get the Walgreens cash back. So if it's buy two toothpaste or buy three shampoos or buy six pair of socks and get a certain amount of Walgreens cash back, you can always pay with Walgreens cash and get Walgreens cash back on those deals. If it is a spend deal, spend 10, get five, spend 20, get 10, 
you do not want to pay with your Walgreens cash on those deals because you're not going to get it back. Now there is a more, um, I don't want to say complicated, it is more complicated, but there is a longer, more um, explanatory um, answer to that. There is a way to pay with Walgreens cash and still get Walgreens cash back, but I have an entire video on it. I'm not going to talk about it in this one. If you're interested in that, go watch my video on how to use Walgreens cash on a spend deal because that will answer your questions on how to do that. Now, if you have additional questions about what is Walgreens Cash? How do I use it? What are register rewards? How do I use them? How do I even start shopping at Walgreens? What is your beginner's guide? How do you use Walgreens Cash on a spend deal? Or even if you just wanna know how I personally use my register rewards to lessen frustration while shopping, I have videos on every single one of those topics. You can find them down in the video description box below. If y'all have additional questions, don't hesitate to drop them in the comments and I will be happy to answer those if and when I can. Thank you.